In this video, we'll be looking at how an IP CCTV camera system works. Here are the parts that we'll be putting together to set up a complete IP CCTV camera system. But I will want us to start step by step, so let's start from the cameras. The cameras I want to use are PoE IP cameras, which simply means that power can be taken into each camera through their Ethernet port or through the Ethernet port of each camera. And through the same Ethernet port, video will be transmitted from the camera to be sent ultimately to a video recorder. We will need a PoE switch since we are using PoE IP cameras because the PoE switches or a PoE switch is capable of providing power to devices through the Ethernet port. So we will need a PoE switch. The next thing to do is to plug network cables from the ports of the PoE switch into each camera. With these connections done, power will be transmitted from the PoE switch through each of the network cables into each camera. And at the same time, through the same network cables from each camera, Videos captured by the cameras will be transmitted into the network switch. And so we'll then need to bring in the network video recorder at this point. And we'll connect from the switch into the network video recorder using a network cable. Be reminded that it is the network video recorder or the NVR that houses the hard disk drive or the surveillance drive onto which the videos of the cameras on the network are stored. So there's the need to fix a hard drive or a surveillance drive into the network video recorder. We will now provide the NVR with a display monitor, whereby we will connect the NVR to the monitor so that through the monitor, we will be able to see the interface of the NVR where we can search and find the cameras that have been connected to the network. So this is a complete IP CCTV setup that would allow you to be able to view the cameras on the monitor. And you can as well record the videos or the video footages of this kind of setup. But if you want to monitor these cameras remotely on your mobile phone or on your PC, you would need an internet source. So we'll use a simple internet router to provide the internet. But any internet source that is via a cable is acceptable. So what you would have to do is that you would have to plug the internet source into the network switch, thereby making internet available on all the devices that are connected to the network switch. That means internet will be available on the cameras and the NVR since they are connected to the network switch on which the internet service or the internet router is also connected. From there, through the right apps and softwares installed on your phone and on your PC respectively, you can view your cameras remotely over the internet.